Hi, I'm Dave Scott. I want to talk about a drill that I like to use in swim workouts. I think it's a really effective drill. Uh, it's kind of gender specific at times because a lot of the guys are really tight in their shoulders and their pecs and they sit in a lounge chair when they're doing this exercise to start off with and all of a sudden it'll kind of open up their upper back, their pecs will get uh, a little more uh, mobility and it, when you put the fins on it's really magic because even if you're tight and stiff, if you put fins on and I've got these uh, finis uh, floating fins here in front of me so I'm staying seated obviously but you put these on your feet and you're going to do double arm backstroke with the flutter kick. So I'm doing a flutter kick with my legs and I'm going to go double arm. So rather than single arm backstroke, I'm going to go double arm. And the difficulty in doing this is that you really have to rev up your legs when your arms are straight up over your head or you're going to sink down and your face is going to go underwater. So I tell people, keep your nose dry when you're doing this. Press your head back like you're uh, putting your head on a pillow. It, tighten your lower abs and push your hips up just a little bit. So in the double arm backstroke, as the arms are coming over the top of the water, this is shoulder flexion. I'm extending my arms over my head. Thumbs lead the way first, and so as I am about ready to enter the water, I'm going to move my hands out to about 135 degrees, and I'm making a Y here. Here's my Y, and my hands are going to enter with my little finger entering the water first. I want to make sure I drop my hands down as deep as I can because this is where I get a nice stretch on my pecs and then do the whole double arm backstroke pull. So it can be fairly slow to start with with the flutter kick with the fins on and remember the cues. You want to try to keep your nose dry and you're really going to have to kick with a, a much straighter leg kick and kick from that engine from your core and from your hips. Great drill. Put it in your warm up because it will really help your freestyle when you gravitate to your main set. Uh, take a look at this video with ATV and I think you'll see a, a few more demonstration uh, pieces that will give you a few more cues on this double arm backstroke with fins. Lisa, this is kind of a crazy looking stroke, but it's really nice for your shoulders and your lats and you feel it actually stretching your pecs. It's a double arm backstroke. Your fins are on, we're doing a flutter kick, we're tethered and we've got the ATV current at your feet. So when your arms come over your head nice and straight, make sure your head is back, your hips are nice and high, and you actually have to rev up your flutter kick a little bit because you're gonna have a tendency to sink when you're doing that. Okay. Head back, hips high. Okay. Good. When you do that, I mean, it is a funny looking stroke <laughs> yeah. and you're starting to wiggle around a little bit. So you have to kind of solidify your core when you're doing it as well. Or you're going to travel from side to side in the ATV. But you, you did it nicely and it is really a lovely effort just kind of coming over here and you feel like you're floating. You feel it stretch all the way through your stomach and your yeah. hips all the way down to your toes. So yeah. it's one of my favorite. Mine too. <laughs>